the president's political position is eroding faster than ever before after a shocking testimony from a key witness in the impeachment inquiry. For more on this, it's time for a closer look. There's long been a belief in the political world that somehow Donald Trump is untouchable, that he never pays a political price for anything, and that nothing can ever hurt him. People like to call him Teflon Don, but he doesn't really look like Teflon. It's more like someone made a beanbag chair out of old pumpkins. <laughs> of course, the reality has always been that Trump's deeply unpopular among a majority of Americans. It's just that we're clinging to an antiquated electoral college system that lets, like, five states decide the election and often gives the presidency to whoever gets the second most votes. Nothing else in the world works like that. Just imagine how bad Jeopardy would be if whoever got the lowest score was invited back the next day. <laughs> okay, Donald, you got negative $1,000. Looks like you're coming back tomorrow. I hope tomorrow you let me buy a vowel. That's a different show. <laughs> Whatever. I want that vowel. <laughs> J. But still, it really feels like we're seeing a potentially major political shift happen right now with impeachment. A new CNN poll yesterday found that the highest number yet, a full 50% of Americans want the president not just impeached, but removed from office altogether. Just out this morning, a brand new CNN poll finds public support for impeaching and removing President Trump from office on the rise. Here's that numeric high. 50%, half the country in this poll, should Trump be impeached and removed from office, 50% say yes, 43% say no. Take a look at this over time, and you'll see that it's the high water mark. Hey, you got to give it to Trump. This is definitely the first time in his life he's ever hit a high water mark. <laughs> Trump spent most of his life at the low water mark, which makes sense because he does kind of look like something you would find on the beach after the tide goes out. <laughs> Please. Push me in the water so I can rejoin my pod. <laughs> and you know Trump saw that CNN poll because he watches cable news all the time. His staff probably had to edit the clip on his DVR and hope he didn't notice. A brand new CNN poll finds public support for President Trump on the rise. Take a look at this. It's the high water mark. 50% support Trump. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's jumping at this poll. It's great. So Trump's political position is eroding quickly, and we're even starting to see some small cracks in his support among Republicans. Retiring Florida Congressman Francis Rooney said he wouldn't rule out voting for impeachment, and Utah Senator Mitt Romney said this about Trump's quid pro quo with Ukraine on Sunday. We certainly can't have presidents asking foreign countries to provide something of political value that is, after all, against the law. Yeah, it is, and I can't believe... That even has to be said. It's like if you were doing 120 on the highway while snorting cocaine, drinking tequila, and mooning other drivers, and a cop pulled you over and said, public nudity, after all, is against the law. <laughs> of course, after Romney made those comments, Trump, who demands absolute loyalty from everyone, lashed out at him on Monday, suggesting the Democrats were better at sticking together. I think the Democrats fight dirty, but two things they have. They're vicious, and they stick together. They don't have Mitt Romney in their midst. They don't have people like that. All right, first of all, the idea that Democrats don't disagree with each other is insane. I mean, <laughs> the difference is that when Democrats argue, they have productive disagreements over things like how to provide health care to everyone or how to address institutional racism. When Republicans argue, it's like the end of a botched bank robbery where everyone's pointing guns at each other, screaming, <laughs> who's the rat? Are you the rat? I'm not the rat. Oh, we're so That's why Trump is lashing out in increasingly deranged ways, because he doesn't have an actual defense. He and his aides have already confessed to the crimes in question. The facts have been so brutal for Trump and his team that in less than a month, they went from this... There was no quid pro quo... ...to this... What exactly did you hope Zelensky would do about the Biden after the phone call? Exactly. Well, I would think that if they were honest about it, they'd start a major investigation into the Biden. To this. So the demand for an investigation into the Democrats was part of the reason that he it was on to withhold funding to Ukraine. The the look back to what happened in 2016 certainly was was part of the thing that he was worried about in corruption with that nation, and that is holding, absolutely appropriate. Holding the funding. Yeah. But to be clear, what you just described is a quid pro quo. It is funding will not flow unless the investigation into the into the Democratic server. Uh, happened as well. We, we do we do that all the time. All right, first of all, 
First of all, I love Mulvaney's face right there when the reporter says what you just described is a quid pro quo. He reacts like a guy who just realized he said the wrong name during sex. <laughs> oh, Janet, my name is Lisa. <laughs> you don't look like a Lisa. <laughs> Second, not only did he just admit it, he said they do it all the time. These idiots are the only criminals in the world who would defend themselves from one crime by confessing to more crimes. <laughs> it's like if the cops called you in about a murder and said, did you dump the body in Central Park? And you went, of course I did. That's where I dump all my bodies. <laughs> I assume I'm free to go. <laughs> so the Trump team... The Trump team's position on Ukraine has, let's say, evolved, which makes sense since Trump himself Looks like he should be third from the right on one of those human evolution charts. I mean, that's why he's so much more comfortable crawling like a sea turtle who just buried his golf balls in the sand. Whenever he stands upright, his center of gravity shifts forward like a baby standing up in his crib. I mean, he even holds... He even holds his hands out like he's waiting for an adult to steer him while he walks. In fact, Republicans are flailing so badly in their attempts to actually defend what Trump did with Ukraine that rather than mount an actual defense, they've decided instead to resort to dumb stunts to shut down the inquiry altogether, like today when a group of Republicans barged into a House deposition in a secure room and refused to leave. We start with a bizarre turn on Capitol Hill when as many as two dozen House Republicans upset over the impeachment inquiry stormed a secure hearing room. Republicans physically got in the faces of Democrats uh, to protest these proceedings. A wild scene in Washington today when two dozen House conservatives stormed the impeachment hearing room in protest and refused to leave. These guys are truly so dumb. I mean, look at this group of angry weirdos at their press conference this morning announcing they were going to storm the hearing room. I haven't seen a group of white guys that angry since they found out their Don Henley tickets were obstructed view. <laughs> Looks like a protest outside a pharmacy that ran out of Viagra. <laughs> I mean, they shouldn't be at the Capitol. They should be standing at the counter at a McDonald's demanding to see the manager. <laughs> and even while Trump and his team are confessing on TV, Democrats in the House are still gathering evidence as part of the impeachment inquiry. Yesterday, the top U.S. diplomat in Ukraine, Bill Taylor, testified that there was, in fact, an explicit quid pro quo in which Trump held up hundreds of millions of dollars in military aid to Ukraine in exchange for a pledge to investigate his political rivals. According to reports, Taylor's opening statement was 15 pages long and prompted a lot of sighs and gasps. And unless you're reading aloud from your book of erotica, that is not good. <laughs> As a general rule, it is never good to hear sighs or gasps. It never means you are innocent. <laughs> there are only two reasons why a room full of people gasp. When someone makes a shocking accusation in court or when you and your buddies are watching a supercut of Skateboard Fails. <laughs> oh, damn, Rudy tried to do an ollie and got the skateboard wedged up his ass. <laughs> People in the room called Taylor's testimony disturbing and said he drew a direct line between President Trump's withholding of aid for Ukraine and his demand for investigation to Joe Biden and the Democrats. And Taylor reportedly backed up all of his assertions with detailed notes and evidence. He is backing up himself in this case, Taylor is, with an opening statement that I'm told relies on meticulous notes. This is apparently a lifelong habit of his to take meticulous notes about meetings and phone calls in which he was a participant. So Taylor, perhaps more than any other witness, has come with his own paper trail in place. A 15-page opening statement. 15 pages. The only good news for Trump is there's no way he's capable of reading a 15-page document. I doubt Trump has ever made it all the way through a Snapple cap. A duck's quack does not. Somebody else read the rest of this for me. Then summarize it for me in a memo. Also, no phrase has ever been more terrifying for a guy like Trump than the words paper trail. He's a New York City real estate developer and casino owner who cheats on his taxes. The only paper trail he's ever kept is the toilet paper on the bottom of his shoe. Trump has always thought of himself as untouchable, but now he's finally facing real consequences. Support for impeachment is rising in the polls. More and more people are coming to the conclusion that you can't just subvert the entirety of American foreign policy to your personal political will and dangle hundreds of millions of dollars as part of a corrupt quid pro quo to investigate your political rivals. Because, to put it mildly... That is, after all, against the law. This has been A Closer Look.